it's kind of ironic that the other group is now saying that the reason they're pulling out is because of safety concerns <laughs> when, when they have told their people to bring guns. That group is the right-wing group Anticom, which is short for anti-communist, and it canceled its march against communism in Charlotte because of concerns of violence. Spectrum News reporter Tim Spears tells us more. Just days ago, we lost some security with closed carry permits. Recruiting people that don't mind getting physical if they have to. We know the potential things that could go wrong. A march against communism planned in Marshall Park encouraged protesters to bring their torches, weapons, and listen to a speaker's list, including white supremacists, seemingly creating similar conditions leading to the melee in Charlottesville. We are ensuring that we're prepared. But Anticom tweeted Thursday morning in light of safety concerns, it's canceling the march against communism. I do think. Uh, they recognize the fact that uh, a lot of folks in Charlotte were organizing. Jabril Huff was organizing a counter protest when he felt needed to have its own security as well. I can see where it could have looked as uh, a form of intimidation, but I don't really look at groups like that. If you look back to Charlottesville, they don't look like groups that could easily be intimidated. March Against Communism organizers tell us Anticom received several threats. White nationalist Richard Spencer, who was scheduled as a featured speaker, said Anticom, quote, can't trust Charlotte's municipal authorities, but would consider a major rally in D.C. Anticom is not discussing future plans publicly. If our peaceful, loving presence intimidated them, well, it was God's will. <laughs> And I, I can rejoice in that. Anticom tells us they would need a private venue before scheduling a future event in Charlotte, whereas the counter protesters tell us they're still planning to hold some kind of demonstration here in Marshall Park in December. Just for folks to come out, express themselves, let Charlotte know who we are and how we would like Charlotte to be. In Charlotte, Tim Spears, Spectrum News. CMPD says it's still trying to make contact with the group. Anticom states that it disavows all political violence.